Hi, this is Pons from Rollapalooza.tv and right now, we're gonna interview one of the fastest rising grapplers here in the Philippines. He's only been training for a short amount of time and he just won the most technical fighter in the recent Rollapalooza competition. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carl Sabiniano of Hybrid Yo Yan. Woo! Carl, welcome to Rollapalooza.tv. Thanks for doing this interview with us. Now, uh, Carl, one question lang. So, how long have you been uh, doing competition sa grappling? Uh, sa grappling is... Actually, this is my fourth competition, pero I, I was competing for like four or five months. So, grabe, grabe Carl, napaka-bilis ng progress mo. You've won medals, gold medals, and you've won the most technical submission award. So, in success in competition, anong mga tips ang maibibigay mo sa fellow grapplers? Sa fellow ko? grapplers, success tips, uh, train. Train sa... Yung, yung jiu-jitsu dun sa may atin ay uh, tamag na <laughs> <laughs> Doon ako nagtitraining. Talaga? Malupet, malupet pa. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Carl Sabiniano of Hybrid Yo Yan. Carl, maraming maraming salamat sa oras. Hi, this is Carl Sabiniano and you're logged on to Rollapalooza.tv. Hi, this is Pons from Rollapalooza.tv. And right now, we're gonna interview one of the hottest BJJ black belts all over the world. <laughs> He got his black belt in just four years under Master Lloyd Irvin. Four years. That's four years. And we're here right now with none other than Mike Fowler. Woo! So, hi, Mike. Um, thanks for uh, doing this interview with us. So just, uh, just some questions for our, for our uh, fans from Rollapalooza.tv. So how long have you been doing a uh, competition in Jiu-Jitsu and grappling? Uh, I started competing in Jiu-Jitsu right when I started. I joined joined in, uh, joined in training. Uh, I did my first fight within a week, uh, we, uh, within uh, two weeks of fighting, uh, two weeks of uh, joining the gym, and then I did my first jiu-jitsu competition um, like uh, another few weeks after that. So I've al I've always believed no matter what what style you do, what do or how you know how uh, how much you've been training, it, you know doesn't hurt to go out there and compete. As long as you can do it, you have you know you're fit, you know you, you, you feel comfortable just with yourself. You're not going to get injured. Then I think competition is the best thing to start building and uh, you know perfecting your game. Well, that's excellent, Mike. Now, um, what are your thoughts on how jiu-jitsu and grappling is de developing in the Philippines right now? I think it's uh, it's growing fast, and I think um, like right now with guys that you know I've already seen in the tournaments, like uh, like Brad from Newbury, Carlo Pena, those guys, they're if not a little above the average line, I'd say in the, like the U.S. I you know you go you go some places and like and and it feels like it's almost taken for granted, but uh, here in the Philippines, you know like uh, it's just like want to you know everybody takes it you know real to heart, and so I think um, like I wouldn't be surprised if, you know just to see more guys from the Philippines going out getting on that medal stand. So I think it's been coming along really well. Excellent thoughts, Mike. So last question: What tips can you share um, the competitors in the Philippines for for them to have success in development and competition? I base my, on my training as far as you have three things: you have, you have your technical side, your cardio side, and your strength side, and they all three work together. And if you're not doing everything in all three, then you're, you may win some matches, but you're not gonna get. You're not gonna reach your ultimate goals. So you need, need to make sure your your cardio is right. Are you eating well? Are you sleeping well? Are you uh, are you taking Are you taking care of your body after training? And then on your uh, the 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 uh, strength side, are you doing things that are that are uh, gonna benefit your jujitsu, or are you just doing workouts that you just seen on TV? You need to make sure everything is geared towards what your goal is. If your goal is to become a, 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 a champion in jujitsu, then your workouts need to be centered around uh, jujitsu type movements. So you know, look up that that way. And then the technique side, learn all you can. You know what I mean? You can never know too much. And I say the best the best idea is to have you know two to three just main things you stick to, and that'll that'll be the best as far as for competition. Learn as much as you want, but if you want to use them in competition, you need to find that that two to three that works for you. Two or three. All right, so that's Mike Fowler. Thank you very much for Rollapalooza.tv. Hi, this is Mike Fowler, and you're logged on to Rollapalooza.tv. All right.